Okay, so here we have a Microsoft Surface Pro, kind of a, a nice little tablet. I'll actually flip it right side up. Um, you know, I can use it as a tablet, swipe things, uh, you know, go to the start screen, look at my apps, all those kinds of things. You know, but then the question people have is, you know, how can I use this as a, as a real computer? It does have a Core i5 inside, it is running uh, Windows 8. Um, so can I really get the best of both worlds? Well, Microsoft provides uh, or sells uh, you know, a fairly nice keyboard, so we can at least get the keyboard experience of being able to you know, type pretty nicely. Um, so now I, I have a full-size keyboard, that's great. Um, but you know, this is a pretty small screen, even though it's high resolution. Um, and how do I get all my other peripherals connected, like a mouse? Because you know, the touch screen's nice for some things, but mouse is better for a lot of other things. And how do I get more storage and, and all those things? So the wonderful thing is that we've got this great technology called USB. Um, and of course, you know, there's not very many ports on the surface, but what there is, is there's a USB 3 port. And that USB 3 port is this gateway to all of this functionality. You can have up to 128 different USB devices attached with this one port. Um, so we're pluggable technologies. We sell a lot of USB devices, so we wanted to show some of the ones that are particularly good match uh, for the Surface Pro. So the first one I wanted to show you um, is the pluggable uh, USB 3 docking station. Um, so inside this docking station is a USB 3 hub, and you get some extra USB 3 ports to you know, further connect additional USB 3 devices. You get audio for headset uh, and microphone. And you get four USB 2 ports uh, for connecting, you know, most USB devices right now are USB 2, uh, certainly in mice and keyboards and things. You also get a USB gigabit Ethernet port. So the Surface Pro by itself does not connect to a wired network. It's uh, Wi-Fi only, but a lot of times you'll get better performance, certainly. Uh, and in a lot of situations, you can only connect uh, via wired. So it, it solves that for you. Um, an extra monitor, and we, the, uh, the unit comes with VGA and HDMI adapters, so you could um, you know, have those connected. Um, and then power for the dock itself and a cable back to the computer. So let's take that cable back to the computer and plug it into our surface. Nice and easy to dock, kind of single cable dock on dock, which is, uh, which is nice. Okay. Um, and uh, so now we're going to just start connecting things and see what happens. So we're first going to start by connecting uh, the DVI cable to uh, the monitor that's in front of me here. And actually, it's a VGA monitor, so this is the uh, DVI to VGA adapter that, that comes with the, uh, with the unit. And up pops another monitor. And then we're going to pull in a, a mouse to use with that monitor, because I prefer a mouse when I can. I like touch for some things, but mouse is better for a lot of other things. So now we'll get a mouse connected. So now I'm, uh, you know, able to kind of, I've got a surface, everything's running off the surface here, but, um, you know, I'm able to, uh, you know, work on things. So, so these screens are configured. Um, where the one is the bottom, two is the top, so it's like that. So if I drag this window down, I can drag it between the two screens and uh, you know pull up a news site. And so now instead of being kind of trapped on this very nice high resolution screen, but small screen, um, now I also have this additional screen over here, and I can um, you know be working on multiple things at once. Um, you know go somewhere else here. And, you know, already now I've got a lot more kind of happening uh, with the Surface, a lot more useful. Um, and so now, what if I wanted to have an additional screen attached? Well, that's the wonder of USB, is I can just uh, take another USB adapter. This one's our pluggable USB 3 to HDMI adapter. And I can just plug it into one of the available USB 3 ports. Um, this adapter doesn't need any power. It's getting it from USB. Uh, USB carries both power and data. So I'll just push that back there. And so then our third monitor will come up. And if I pull up this screen resolution control panel and drag that over there, um, you can see that I've got monitors one, two, and three. And I can easily move applications between them. Very fast, very nice. Um, and this, uh, these all the everything that's happening on these two monitors here are all happening via USB 3. Um, now I'm going to take my Ethernet and I'm going to plug that into the back of the dock. 
and now uh, my connection switched from a, a wireless connection now to uh, a, an Ethernet connection um, down there. And I'm getting, you know, now better internet connection speeds. Uh, if you've got a gigabit network, um, this will uh, operate at about, uh, you know, 700 megabits per second or so, maybe around 800 at best, um, you know, which is better than uh, most Wi-Fi networks, which you're only going to get between, you know, 50 and two, to 200, maybe 300 at, at most. Um, so there you go. Um, I've now turned what was this kind of nice tablet, but a screen that's uh, too small to get real work done into a real setup where I've got a mouse, I've got a keyboard, I've got the small screen, but now I also have two additional big screens that I can really get some work done, bring up some big spreadsheets, bring up some big documents, and when I'm done with it all, I can just unplug one USB 3 cable, take my Surface, and go.